This is our 1954 GM Cena Cruiser. This was a retired Greyhound bus. Only Greyhound ever had these. Uh, they're pretty rare. There's only a thousand of them ever made. And uh, this one, it's pretty rough shape, but we're gonna get it fixed up here enough to get it put out into the weather here for now. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna talk to you about what our future plans are with this project. It's gonna be real fun. The first thing we gotta do is get these bay doors back on here. These bay doors are held on by a rubber hinge and they rotted and fallen off. There's little screws that hold them, in, pinch the rubber hinge in place. We gotta get the screws out to pull the old half strip of rubber out. So we're gonna pull these screws all out and then uh, slide on, put in a new hinge and get the bay doors attached to it again. Usually these screws are a real bear to get out. We, we pre-treated them with some coil the night before and they're all just coming out really easy, which is not usually the case. I don't like seeing this here because they remove those floors on the inside. There's no structure across here. And look at all these rivets are gone. And so are they here. That's the whole bulkhead. So there's not a whole lot. This thing needs some serious structural modification before it gets back on the road. So I'm gonna grab the hinge in the middle there. And try and pull it out breaks in two, it'll be fine to each left and right side. comes in, it rolls like that and slides in the groove. It's thicker, it's kind of like an I-beam basically. It'll hold the two pieces together. So we're gonna get this cut to exactly the right length here. Because it also, not only is it the hinge, it also doubles as the door seal for the top of the, the door. Probably pull it a little tighter. Right there. Slide it in from here, from the middle, one way that way. Got it in the right spot down there? Mm -hmm. Let's put a couple of the screws in on this half of it just to hold it in place for us. Pierce it, holds it like an anchor. Let's pull this back here. And get that end started in there. some lube in there if we need to, but the other one went so easily. I think if you if you push it up in here while I pull. Yeah, we'll get it. You gotta do that over. There's a little piece of old rubber still in here. Pull, pull this bit. 
Come in on the inside here. here go like, push in like that and it'll be really easy. Okay, let's put a couple screws in it down here. We'll be good to go. Okay, so here we're putting it on. So we've got it started in the groove and he's gonna slide it down. Keep going. Let, let this end down just a little bit. It's a two person job. I'm not sure why we're finding it. I'm gonna put the phone down, but you see we've got it and it's sliding good. Looks better already. The skylight up here was taken out and they put in a wood thing and they had an old rooftop air conditioner mount in it. So we're putting a tarp over where the hole was for the air conditioner so that water can't come through. Um, so he's just screwing it into the wood that's in there. It's not going into the metal. Our buddy Dan sent us a mirror for this right side. It's off of 4104, so it's a little different, but the mount is exactly the same. So now we have a right side mirror, so it'd be a little easier to, to back it out and move it around. Well, now we got all the doors back on and the holes covered up and stuff. It's starting to look like a real bus again. Um, it's going to be watertight or mostly watertight for now so we can keep the water out. It's, it's, it's going to be good enough to move it outside until we get all the, the new bits and pieces.
that's out here in the woods by Ricky's MC9 for now. Beautiful spot. All right, so what are the plans here with this scenic cruiser? Number one is we're gonna keep the exterior as original as possible. So all the windows are going back in it. I'm seeking out the window panes uh, and assemblies to go back in where those, they're skinned over. The external appearance is going to look like a scenic cruiser. Uh, eventually the paint that's gonna go on it will be some type of a Greyhound type paint scheme, period correct. Um, I've got uh, new windshield or rear glass rubber coming and replace the windows. So externally, this is gonna look exactly like what it's supposed to look like. Uh, interior wise, we're going to re-strengthen the floor in there where they ripped it out. We can't put it back in the way it originally was. That's, it's, it's been butchered too much, but we're gonna strengthen it all up. We are gonna turn the interior of this into a motor home. Um, it's gonna be here on the property. I don't, we don't really plan on driving it, but I'm not gonna do anything to it to make it where it's not drivable. Um, but it's gonna be like a guest house here on the property. That'll be a Greyhound Scenic Cruiser uh, from the exterior and then on the inside. And then it can maybe be a big playroom for Ke uh, for Ellie as well. Uh, so our granddaughter, uh, it could be uh, when there's nobody staying in it, um, and she could have it as a playroom inside. So it's gonna be kind of more open, open concept, bathroom, little kitchenette uh, and a bedroom in it. And the, op the kind of living room area would be a kind of a play area for her. So she's gonna have the coolest little playhouse and then we'll have a guest quarters. Uh, like if the mother-in-law comes here to visit or something like that, she could stay in the bus. But uh, yeah, it's it's gonna look really nice out here. Um, it's gonna be one heck of a project. It's, it's not gonna be a very fast project. This is definitely gonna take us a while. Um, so don't don't think it's gonna happen real quick. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to uh, to get this done, but we got it right now. We got it temporarily sealed up here for to keep the rain and stuff out, and then that's priority number one is to get all the windows and everything taken care of so that no water happens. You know, can get inside of the bus, um, and then from there we'll start working on it. But uh, the big project right now is the 3751 uh, that's getting remodeled and painted. Uh, but this will be the over the winter project. I believe we'll have time this winter to really hit it pretty hard. I definitely want to have everything closed in good before the spring on it. But uh, it's still going to be a pretty big budget. Um, hopefully YouTube videos will help with that a little bit. But it's going to be fun and it's it's a nice bus. It is solid. What's here is nice. Uh, it just needs a little bit of work. And we'll be able to, we'll be able to handle everything. That transmission's got to go. It's going to definitely get an automatic transmission. Um, I think Steven, our buddy Steven, that was just here recently with his MTI, he's got uh, an Allison 740 that I think he said we could have. Um, and that would be the best thing. And then we can put a push button control in it and get rid of that whole shift linkage that runs through the interior of the bus. Uh, it's just in the way and, and annoying. So, but it's a beautiful bus. It's a very historic bus. I'm not going to do anything to damage it further than it's already been damaged by people. I'm only going to make it better. Uh, some people will disagree about the automatic transmission, but just where those linkages used to run for the old transmission, that's all been torn out. So there's no place to run it. That's why they got a big pole running, you know, 12 feet through the bus. Um, they just kind of half-assed it. No other word I can think of. Um, so putting an automatic in it is going to be easy. And if somebody gives me one for free, uh, then it's definitely a no-brainer to do, to, to make that change on it. It could it'd still be mobile around here on the property, but like I said, we don't plan on driving it on the road. Uh, but I don't plan on doing anything to it that's not uh, going to take away from it being able to have that done. But uh, it should make a really nice, uh, it's going to be a fun project. And, and it's something that's getting saved. Like I said, we're not going to do anything to destroy it uh, beyond what's already been done to it. We're only going to make it better from where it's at. So that's the Scenic Cruiser. Look forward to new videos coming on that uh, relatively soon. Hopefully uh, before Christmas time for sure. His tools, check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride in old Lenny the Silver Sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that.
47 hound, it's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. With the propped up engine door Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing Thirty years behind that barn Cause it don't run worth a darn Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing He knows in Detroit there's no doubt Upside down and inside out It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide In that old blue silver sides It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lily the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease Monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?